Yes, as I said, almost time for our very first award show. And after that, we'll have a 50-minute break, followed by an experiment hosted by the Nemo Science Museum in Amsterdam. Um, uh, a Nemo expert will do this interactive experiment together with you. And please make sure you have one ingredient in front of you, uh, either a glass or a bottle of tonic. Now. We're uh, ready for the Surf Research Support Champion Awards. And this edition is actually the first time we've organized this, um, not live, unfortunately, but in a video, a uh, 10 minute video. And by creating this prize, we want to give research supporters a platform and inspire others. Very, very important because they often uh, are not very visible, is what I've heard the last days, and uh, they have to be more visible. Now, SURF's Chief Innovation Officer and Chair of the Jury, Ron Augustus, will announce the winners in this video. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Ron Augustus, CNO of SURF. I'm very pleased to announce the SURF Research Support Champions today. Good research supporters form a bridge between researchers and research IT. They do vital work, but their work is often invisible. This new award puts in the spotlight those who have made remarkable efforts to support research within their institutions. Research is a team effort, and this new award focuses on the team aspect of research. A research supporter is anyone who supports researchers in the field of research data management and IT with the storing, managing, archiving, and sharing of their research data, but also with software development and advice on research applications. For example, data stewards, ICT professionals, library staff, or research assistants. We received 34 nominations from colleagues from many different institutions throughout the country. And of course, I would like to thank our jury, Joris van Ennatte of the Netherlands eScience Center, Petra Drankier of the Federation of University Medical Centers and FU, Mariska van der Giesen, Vereniging van Lectoren, and Lisa Oskam of the PhD Network Netherlands. How did we as a jury judge these entries? We looked at the way the nominee's contribution to research support is outstanding in their field or different. We looked at the way in which they connect the needs of researchers with research support, and we looked at the impact of their work. The jury has selected a winner in three categories, universities, universities of applied science, and university medical centers and research institutes. So let's go to the prize winners. Congratulations to all prize winners of the SURF Research Support Champion Award. I wish I could have handed over the prize personally to all winners, but I couldn't because I'm restrained at home in quarantine because one of my family members is tested positive for COVID. So I have to do it online. The first one I want to congratulate is in the category University Medical Centers and Research Institutes. And the one I want to congratulate here is Bob van Dijk. I'm very surprised. I'm very honored. Um, I don't know who uh, made me a candidate, but uh, I want to thank that person <laughs> as well. And uh, yeah, I like apples, so apple tree will be good in my garden. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bob, congratulations on this award. You are SURF Research Support Champion and you have been nominated for this award by your colleagues. Let me tell you a few things that they said about you. Because of his solid, substantive cross-domain knowledge, organization-wide contacts and helpful approach, Bob is the pivot of all HPC activities within Amsterdam uh, Medical Center. This Research Support Champion builds the bridge between researcher and research IT by guiding researchers and technical solutions and translating their technical support requests to requirements for research IT. Bob, congratulations. You are very much respected 
and uh, well regarded by your uh, peers in the Amsterdam University Medical Center. Congratulations on this award. Flattered by the, by the feeling that they trust what I'm saying and that what I'm trying to do is really helping researchers doing their research and getting them the infrastructure that they need to do their research. Proud. I think I'm proud. Not only flattered, but a pretty proud. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> We are here in Meidrecht, where Mariette van Selm lives. Uh, so we are going to surprise Mariette. Yes. <laughs> On behalf of uh, Ron Augustus, uh, I give you this prize. No surprise, a week earlier than expected. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate Mariette van Selm, who works at the Amsterdam University of Applied Sciences and the University of Amsterdam. Mariette, congratulations. You are SURF Research Support Champion. You have been nominated for this award by your colleagues and they've called you an indispensable advisor. With unflagging energy and pragmatic commitment, you help researchers obtain, process, manage and sustainably archive research data. And you are not afraid to break through professional and bureaucratic barriers. They also said you listen well and you bring the right people together at the right time. Congratulations with this award. Very well deserved. Congratulations again. Uh, of course, I was very honored to be nominated. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise, but well, OK. Uh, um, uh, I took the information that I was nominated in without thinking very much of it and expecting very much. Uh, I'm still working very hard uh, to simulate research data management and research data management support, both at the University of Amsterdam, Amsterdam University of Applied Science. Uh, and I, I'm hoping now that uh, this prize will help me somewhat in getting people to move, because uh, there's still a lot of movement necessary. Uh, and we're going to see what, uh, what th this prize brings, and uh, I'm hoping it will help me. We're here at the University of Twente to announce the winner of the final category, the category Universities. Let's go and surprise her. Maria Kamp, congratulations. Uh, we have come here today to announce that you have won the SURF Research Support Champion Award for this year. Congratulations. You've been nominated by more than five people of your direct colleagues uh, who actually were very explicit in telling that you were, let's say, not only listening to them very well, you really were able to support them in the right way. You were able to guide privacy and the ethical aspects of, uh, of the work. Uh, we know that it is very important for a researcher to do research and knowing that there's so many other things that we need to that uh, they need to do on top of that you make a research more possible and that's what they all said and in that sense uh, we had more than 35 let's say contestants in our uh, uh, in our uh, prize uh, this year and you've won for the uh, uh, award category universities so congratulations with this new award uh, we'll be handing you over this prize here it is, yes. I know it's been all a bit, let's say, a surprise, but that was the intention. Here it, here it is. Thank you so much. It's a prize, it's a mini tree. Um, and this mini tree is also the symbol of the tree of life, the tree of wisdom. Uh, we hope it will bear fruits of the, of the research that the uh, University of Twente is able to provide. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Um, I'm. <laughs> I'm totally surprised and do not really know uh, what to say. Um, it's an honor to uh, receive this uh, prize. My name is Maria Kamp and I work as coordinator research support for the Faculty of Engineering Technology of the University of Twente. And I'm also a member of the research support team of the Faculty uh, of Engineering Technology. Uh, we support uh, researchers so that they can focus on doing excellent research as well as uh, providing uh, the management uh, of the Faculty of Engineering Technology with uh, research-related uh, intelligence. Uh, we support uh, on uh, uh, project execution, uh, project preparation, um, 
personal branding, personal excellence and networking to um, increase uh, the success rate uh, in funding opportunities and to increase uh, the visibility of our researchers. I think uh, this is briefly what we do as a research support team of the Faculty of Engineering Technology of the University of Twente. <laughs> Yes, and with this live festive melodies of Sibren on trumpet, I also want to congratulate all the winners. Fantastic to see their surprises on their faces. And um, that's really nice. And I believe Ron is online now to have a little chat about these awards. Ron, welcome. Hello. Thank you very much. Yes. Good and to also see from you. my side. Yes, good to see you too. Uh, you know, I've been, I had to stay at home eh, because of Corona uh, uh, rules. But I want to congratulate Mariette and Bob and, uh, and Maria myself as well again. So very well deserved and uh, um, big awards. So congratulations. Yeah, sure. But yeah. these these awards brought some improvisation uh, around the corner, didn't it? Yes, because we, we first handed it out to Maria, so I could still do that in, uh, in person. Then uh, within my family, Corona broke out, so I had to stay at home. So I couldn't hand out the, the latter ones. So uh, luckily, the support team, Yosha and others, were able to do that uh, for us. So we had to yeah, be a little bit uh, uh, opportunistic in that. I can imagine. Now, Ron, what is it like for you to chair the jury of this first Surf Research Support Championship? I mean, you've come aboard uh, with surf last summer only, so how is that? Well, it was um, very, let's say, good for me to do. It was like an honor for me to, uh, to do so. We had a very good jury um, to, uh, to, to look after all the, uh, uh, the nominees. Um, and it, we spent a lot of time to go through all, let's say, details uh, of every nomination. It also um, brought myself into the fact so how important the role of research support uh, um, uh, really is. Uh, in the in the university and the University of Applied Sciences and the Univ University Medical Center uh, environments, and that this let's say the the, um, the recognition of an award like this is putting let's say the the research supporters in in the, in the spotlight, and I think that is this is needed. And uh, for me, it was good to uh, uh, to be reminded of that uh, exactly. by handing out these uh, these awards. Exactly, and what why is it needed so much? Do you think? Because um, the, the, uh, in the normal situations, a lot of attention goes to researchers, and rightfully so, because they are working on the research that, uh, uh, in the end, what, uh, what, what the outcome should be of all the efforts. But um, um, re as research is a team effort, the, the focus is so needed to also put a light on the people who are helping those research to actually get things done and, and to help them maneuver through all the rules they have to, uh, um, they have to, uh, to work with. And it seems like these rules are becoming, let's say, um, more and heavier every year. So the, the role of research support is becoming more important in general as well. Right, right. Thank you. And, and what was most surprising for you when reading through all the nominations? Um, the, um, well, looking at the nominations, what we see is the, um, uh, the passion, the motivation and um, the energy that all the, the people who actually handed in the nominations put into it. Um, it, it, it were not short nominations. Um, they really thought about it uh, in, in wow. which categories, in which areas, they really made a difference. And I think this really struck me. It's not only the amount of nominees that were handed in, but also the quality of the work of all the people who handed in the nominations. So from my side, really thank you for nominating all those people, knowing that only three have won the award, but there's so many that are actually working in research support that in a sense, all deserve a reward. So thank you for doing that and keep on uh, doing this. Great, great. Thank you so much, Ron. Now, Sandra, um, is this something you recognize? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Uh, like Ron said, I mean, I guess all research supporters are champions, uh, you could say. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm very pleased that we could have 
we were able to, to do this uh, award for, for the first time and hopefully we, we can do it on a regular basis because uh, they, they need to be in the spotlight so exactly. once in a while, yes. Like once a year? Perhaps? Maybe, yes, I hope so. I, we haven't discussed it with INSER, but I hope so that we can do it next time again. And so uh, a call for all, <laughs> all the research supporters, do your exactly. best, and maybe you win the next time. <laughs> is, is Ron still online? I am. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, great. Uh, Ron, would you like to say something specifically to all the other nominees? Hey, uh, yes, thanks. And um, for me, I would like to say, Thank you for all the work that you're doing to support uh, to support the uh, the researchers. It's so critical. It's becoming more critical. It's a very diverse role. Right? We have data stewards. We have IT support. We have uh, um, uh, privacy uh, champions. We have ethics committees. We have so many different backgrounds coming together in this support functions. I think your role is critical. Will become even more critical going uh, going forward. We will continue to make sure that we put focus on uh, on, on this category, on this uh, uh, on, on on this type of individual that is so crucial in, uh, in in research for the Netherlands. So you can count on us to uh, to keep coming back on this. Thanks for Great. all your hard work. Great. Fantastic. Thank you, Ron, very much. And Sandra, finally, why is it important for universities and research institutes to have a strong research support team? Uh, well, there, it's, it's, it's important because there are various disciplines necessary for, for, to support the researcher. In, in the end, it's, it's for a researcher, it's, it's a chain of, of things he needs. And, and that chain should be, well, it should be all be connected with each other. So uh, I, that's why the, the development of the DCCs are, are so crucial, that they all co collaborate with each other. Uh, to, to really help the researcher with, with this chain that he, that he needs. So, uh, yeah. Great, great. They're very important. Now, thanks again, Ron and Sandra, uh, and also you at home. I mean, the chat is overloaded with reactions. Congratulations, uh, congrats to all winners. You're all true champions, and it's, it's going onwards and onwards. So thank you at home for, for putting your thumbs up for this uh, fantastic uh, award. And uh, I'll say up to, next, up to the next ones. So thank you, Ron. Bye-bye.